Uh oh. I can't stand intros. Hey, greetings and good day one and all. I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you might be. Um, today, um, I had to help Mr. Duck. He's, he's struggling. He's having some issues right now. Uh, I think he's going to be okay. The uh, paramedics were here quick and uh, I'll let you know how he's doing. But in the meantime, until he comes back, uh, I have a video request. It doesn't happen very often, and when they do happen, I am happy, more than happy, to oblige. And uh, anybody can do a video request at any time. But today, we're gonna take a closer look at the case, Junior Sodbuster. And uh, this is not a review. I don't do knife reviews. I am a musician who has a big knife collection. And uh, let's leave it there. And I do other things as well. But that's for anybody who's just stumbling on my channel for the first time. Just thought I'd let you know. So the request, the request came in for the orange knife at the top of your backdrop. And my backdrop is just full of little slip joints and a couple of monsters and stuff. But uh, anyway, we're looking at the case Sodbuster Jr. in the orange Delrin, which is another way of saying plastic, I think, or some kind of a resonated something or other. So, like I said, we'll just take a look at it. Um, before I get too far into it, there it is on my hand. I'll let you decide if that's too big or too small. Uh, my hand or the knife, your choice. Um, <laughs> So, orange, it's kind of, um, I don't know what kind of an orange that would be. I'll, I'll let you decide. The, um, the contour of this little knife is very, very pleasing. Uh, how it feels in the hand is very, very pleasing. Case has been known to be hit and miss when it comes to certain things. And I'm not going to go into that rabbit hole. But I will say that I, I, I had to have a, a mini sod buster. I actually have two. There's another one right down there in the bone. But we're going to look at this guy. Okay. I did my centering trick on this one. Uh, slip joints are hit and miss on at least these ones were all hit and miss uh, there's probably some really high-end and uh, ones out there that are really expensive that are better quality these ones down here are not very expensive uh, this i wouldn't say that this is cheap either though this is kind of mid-range or something like that i think i paid about 70 canadian maybe maybe less than that maybe 40 uh, it was between 40 and 70 canadian but you'll have to check if you're interested in this. Uh, I found this on eBay, by the way. Uh, okay, so enough looking at it from that point of view. I will show you that beautiful stainless steel. Uh, there might be some out there in chrome vanadium or carbon steel, but this one isn't stainless steel and it's a hollow grind with almost like a stone wash kind of finish. A little blade juking never really hurt. And this one came pretty sharp. I did strop it just to take it a little bit more. So it wasn't too bad when it came out. So here's the model number, 4137 USA and stainless steel. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. From this angle, there you go, stainless steel. On the other side, we have the case. Let's see if we can get closer on that. Sorry, my eyes are not so good tonight. It looks like case with an X and an X on the right, and there is some kind of other mark, but I can't make that out. It looks like they're brass liners. And I say overall, this particular sample that came this way came pretty good. I, I cannot speak for all of them. 
Uh, here's a little thing that's kind of uh, common on most of these slip joints is the fit in this area. I'm not really happy with that. Um, not very happy with that at all. But it's very common and it's, it's, it's not really a deal breaker for me. I, I just come to expect it. I love the size. Oh, sorry. One more thing I wanted to show you is how it feels and how it looks in the hand. Okay, again, I don't have large, medium, or small hands. I have uh, my hands. And you all will have your own as well. So, how I've been carrying it, you can easily slip this into your pocket, not a problem. But when I do, I go back to the Rough Rider, uh, the Rough Rider uh, Dog Bone Jack, and it fits perfect. I know it's a, it's it's a weird way to get a little pouch like this with the clip to you, you know to go out and actually buy this knife. I, I never really use this knife. It's in the collection. I do love the knife. It's all great, but I like the pouch more than anything because I use it with everything in here for the most part. Not everything, but a lot of things. This is how I carry it most of the time when I carry this knife. I use this. And I think that's pretty much all I can really talk about. Uh, if you want to talk about the... Uh, I had a different name for the walk and talk. I was going to change it. That's just my personality. I, I, I hate using the same things. But the walk and talk is basically how it feels when you open and close it. And um, this one's pretty stiff. Song and dance. That's it. The song and dance. The song and dance on this, what is it? What's he talking about? Song and dance. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are gonna have your own too. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. I I am uh, I've turned into a half stop kind of a geek. I, I really like knives with half stops. Here's a rough rider. Oh, bad example. Bad example. Another rough rider. There you go. I really like them. I could just, I would love to see a half stop on a buck 110. Anyway, this one doesn't have one. I have thought about adding one. Now, in order to add one, I think the right thing to do would be take it apart, but, but, and I do say, but if you can get a flat, okay, you see the, the, the tang of the blade, it's round. All you need to do is make it flat. Now, could you do that with a small file? I'm thinking, yeah, this could be my next mod. I've got a small square file that would fit probably perfect in there. And all you're doing is just flattening that round bit on the blade tang, just ever so slightly. If you could get maybe an eighth of an inch of flat spot, by Jove, I think you've got your half stop. Right? Makes sense to me. Let me know if I'm crazy. And by the way, you wouldn't be the first person or people to tell me I'm crazy. Let's hope that Mr. Duck makes it because he's going through some rough times. Thanks for the video request. Have a super fantastic day. Bye for now.